did you know that right now, 85% of the autistic people in the United States are unemployed? Not only are they unemployed, but the 15% that are employed don't have equal wages most of the time. They're oftentimes relegated into the closet jobs and researching jobs where it's extremely isolating and there is no options or hope to move up or move forward in the workplace. If you were to put that you have autism or ADHD on your job application, um, no one's calling you back. Um, not at all. Um, in fact, when they find out that they have to give you accommodations because you have autism and ADHD or ADHD or, you know, ADHD, you know, the combination of the two, um, in my experience, it's nothing but targeting and, like, they will find a way to get rid of you and they will make it not about your autism, but, like, you're gone. If you put ADHD and autistic kids in with a group of five, within an hour, the autistic ADHD kid is playing alone and isolated. It's the same thing when we're adults and in the workplace. We're isolated and targeted and 85% of us is without work. And then the work that we do get doesn't pay and cover what it should and people always blame our struggle on us and tell us to be more normal and tell us to do better and tell us to change something that we can't change. That's why stats like this exist. Some 66% of us has had a unaliving plan for ourselves. And I'm, I'm among that percentage. You add ADHD to that number and it goes up by 28%. If you add the LGBTQ community in, the attempt rate is at 50%. And so when people come into my comments and they badger me about having, you know, making excuses for life being the way it is I just don't have any room for you and I'm going to block you like this is a safe place for autistic ADHD neurodiverse people to have conversations and interact with the regular folks it is an autistic person doing all the interviewing and um yeah, I definitely need help. Go to the link tree in my bio. Just, just click, you know, go to the profile. Thanks, and that's my rant.